awful. What? He apple. What? The annoying orange franchise brought love to two millions, but today we delve into a disturbing chapter that remained hidden for far too long. The annoying orange series started as family-friendly comedy, making audiences around the world laugh with its unique and quirky humor. Millions of viewers tuned in for each episode, not suspecting the darkness that lurked in its shadow. Enter the I Hate Annoying Orange channel, Dark Abyss on YouTube, where fruit torture became an unsettling form of entertainment. In VHS-style videos, fruits were subjected to unspeakable acts And much worse, each video contained a link, a portal to a disturbing worldly, strange calm. These videos garnered hundreds of thousands of views, shocking and disturbing unsuspecting viewers who stumbled upon them. The I Hate Annoying Orange channel left an indelible mark on the dark side of internet culture. This website was a chilling extension of those videos. Autopsy-like photos of mutilated fruits accompanied by airy captions and spine-tingling sound effects. Visitors to 18 a range come were met with a chilling experience. Some were horrified while others were inexplicably drawn to the disturbing content, sparking conversations and debates across forums and social media. Around 2012, an app emerged, minus annoying talking orange, but this was no ordinary app. It would behave strangely if ignored for too long, potentially causing harm. It even asked for permissions to access your contacts, files, and location. A digital Pandora's box that left users feeling uneasy. Users reported hearing encounters with the app, feeling as though it had a mind of its own. Some even claimed that it caused their devices to malfunction or display strange behavior. Today both the app and I hate annoying orange seem to be deleted, but the website lingers. This is the dark, hidden side of the annoying orange phenomenon. A reminder that even the most innocent seeming content can have a chilling underbelly.